hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial in today's video i will be showing you two ways on how to add a transparent background in adobe photoshop so i did this tutorial on how to make a facebook frame in photoshop and i've been receiving some questions on how i added this layer mask on this shape so i'll be covering that with alongside another way on how you could do that easily if you are new in this channel please consider subscribing and hit on the bell so that you won't miss anything so right now we are in adobe photoshop what i want to show you is how i did to add this transparent background let us go by creating a new document I will choose 700 by 700 like this okay I will add a shape of my choice any shape I will take ellipse tool you can hit on you to select the ellipse tool just drag to the amount that you want you can set the color by double clicking on your layer side double click here and choose any color of your choice so if you want to center this i did a tutorial on how to center any subject or any object in adobe photoshop so check on the link in the description or go to the youtube time card on how to do that so i will do Control a to select everything while this one is being selected and here i will click on this icon and i'll also click on this icon so this object is centered so Control z to deselect i will duplicate this layer Control j we can name this ellipse one we can name this ellipse two anything of your choice or oh, inner circle plus inner circle and this one maybe eyebrow circle so rename that you just double click on this area on this text and add we have two circles or two ellipses. i want to change this color i will double click it here and maybe select this yellow color or this color so this one is same because uh, i just duplicated this text so i want to reduce the size of this inner circle or the circle at the top I'll go to Control T on my Windows or Command C on Mac, and then I'll make sure I maintain the all bars. I don't know which version of Photoshop you are using. I'm using Photoshop 2020, Photoshop 2019. You can also maintain R while pushing down or dragging down to reduce the size of the inner circle to your taste. So let's say that is okay by me. I hit Enter. After doing this transformation, what you do next is by converting all these layers into smart objects by right clicking and selecting convert to smart object. To unlock this layer, you simply click on this lock layer. I will right click here and go to convert to smart object. Select this second layer for the outer circle and hold down control and click on your inner circle until you have this icon like a square on your cursor so click the ones to make a selection around that shape maintain alt and click on this mask icon so you will find this when it is the inner side is black that means this circle this area has been masked and this side hasn't been masked so this is what we mask that is black and this is what we selected which was the red color or the inner circle so if i turn this now off you see this area becomes transparent you are seeing white color because white color is the foreground for now so if i turn this off you see how this area is transparent so what to do now if you want to add something like this person here you want to add it i will drag it below so this is now like the foreground color or the foreground shape but i want to see this person in this cycle so this i also need to mask out this layer 
so how to do about that hold down alt drag it and drop it here so you see what has happened i've just copied this mask onto this other layer my shape has become a transparent shape because i can now see what is beneath or what is as the foreground color that was the first way on how to add a transparent shape in adobe photoshop for those who seek to know how i did that select the ellipse draw it again center it or oh, control a here and yet to center this is control g to do select now you can't see anything because the two colors are unique so we don't know if there is any shape added or or not to do that to add that transparent you go to windows or go to windows go down and check for properties this is properties select properties and this will pop up here you can select the color here by clicking and selecting the one the color you want you can change the color directly here or you can still double click here like the previous example to change the color this is properties if you can't find your properties here just simply go to windows and you make sure properties is you click on properties to add here let's add a stroke to this shape i will go back to properties I click now on this icon i select the color that i want to be added as a stroke or a contour let me see i want it to be black i'll select black color this is black and then i will go back the pixel it is just one pixel if you look if you zoom in this area is a little black because it's just simply one pixel so if you increase the number of pixel by sliding it to the right this is going to become like this what i want to show you now is how to completely remove this color and just have this black one go back to properties select this color and click on this icon to no color you don't want any color click on it and this shape becomes transparent so if i uncheck this you see this has become a transparent shape so that is another way on how to add a transparent shape in photoshop so we are going to create another second layer just above this one i'm going to close select my uh, ellipse draw it the size I want can select the color right here Let me select black or yellow can bring it or do control A to center it this way and then go back control Z to deselect control T and drag it all over like this i think that is okay hit control hit enter go back to properties and here select this outermost black that is the contour and slide this until you have this color inside this one let me select another color so that you can easily be seen like that slide then bring this one good to know no color so this one now is transparent so if you mute this this portion becomes transparent you can simply take this image drop it here this image bring it back down and here we go so these are the two ways on how you can create this transparent uh, shape easily in adobe photoshop so the first method was to convert each shape into a smart object and then holding down the control while selecting 
another shape something like that and the second method was doing all the settings in properties removing the color and setting contour so that you create a transparent shape if you found this tutorial helpful please subscribe and hit on the bell so that you won't miss anything and if you have any comment any doubt any worries please let me know in the comment section i will see you in the next video